Hi, I'm Dave Watson, President and CEO of Energy Conservation Optimization, EcoEnergy. We are an energy management business. We specialize in helping client companies reduce energy consumption by up to 40%. More often, we find people asking the question, why is my energy bill so high? What's causing my energy bill to be so high? These are questions that we, we listen to every day. We have the solutions, we have the answers. First and foremost, anybody who's wanting to establish a robust energy saving program needs to start with the basics. We have a system called Energy Maps. It includes control, reduce and eliminate. The control aspect of this system starts with real-time energy management. Enescope is our system for real-time energy management. Without having the visibility of how you're paying for the energy now, how you're using that, the trends, the anomalies, the energy hogs, without being able to accurately identify these components, there's no way that energy can be reduced significantly. Eliminating energy wastage can mean as much as a 20% increase in turnover for client companies. Energy conservation is a program that specializes in real-time energy management. Enescope is a real-time energy management system that gives client companies visibility of how the power is being utilized throughout the building. 142 electrical parameters are being measured each and every second. A lot of this information is applicable to engineers, but the actual cost of running the building, which is most important for the building occupants, is displayed in real time. The effectiveness of the system is as quick as turning a light switch on and off. You will see the cost of running that, those pieces of equipment. On this screenshot here, this is real-time information for the offices of uh, Eco Energy. It's displaying that we're actually currently using 20.9 kilowatts of power at this moment in time on the lighting circuits. We've got a power factor of 0.79. Anybody who understands power factors is going to probably say that's not very good. Um, this has been left at 0.79 for a purpose. The voltage is the combined power being given to us by the utility company across two different uh, phases, a single phase supply and a three phase supply. This level of insight as to how energy is being used in, in a building will give us all the information necessary to tailor a program of effective energy saving solutions to reduce the cost. Typically, Eco Energy provide returns on investments on these type of energy saving programs within a two year period. We aim to recover most of that money in under one year. Once the Enoscope system has been successfully installed in a building, the next step would be to carry out a commercial energy audit. This typically consists of a walkthrough of the facility, itemizing all of the energy consuming devices, including lighting, air conditioning, refrigeration, motors, etc. Once the energy audit has been completed, we would present a report to the client, identifying the opportunities that exist within the building. These recommendations typically amount to a solution that's going to repay for itself in a two to three year period, starting with the low hanging fruit through to the items which are going to typically take slightly longer. Combined, the solutions generally achieve a two year return on investment. On the back side of the Enescope's real-time energy management system lies the real information necessary to gain control, the analytics. Analytics is the recorded data from all of the 142 parameters presented in an easy to understand graphical format. Here's a quick screenshot of this week's activity at our office. Typically, each day has varying energy consumptions. But on the days that no one is in the office, we would expect to see zero or little to no energy consumption. The only day that this existed was on Sunday, which can be seen by the bar there. Very little energy consumption. Generally speaking, that is the refrigeration devices and the outside lighting for security purposes. Analytics demonstrates how people are using power, when people are using power, where are the anomalies, and how do we save energy. Where existing solutions cannot be sourced for lighting upgrades, EcoEnergy typically design and manufacture new solutions to meet the needs of customers. Existing light fixtures 
that run at 1,000 watts, metal halides, sodium vapors, etc., can be replaced with items such as this, which is a retrofit solution and reduces the energy consumption by 80% and still maintains a 100,000 hours L70 value. This means, in essence, that the investment will re be recaptured very quickly, typically around about a two-year period, but the savings will be go, go on for somewhere in the region of 22 years before this light source needs to be replaced. You can imagine the amount of existing bulbs and ballast that would have been replaced during that time period. Again, smaller light solutions where manufacturers have not given us um, an off-the-shelf solution can be replaced by technology such as this. This is just typically emphasizes that whilst Eco Energy or an energy management company, we look towards new technologies often to replace existing light sources that don't exist in the marketplaces. This further reinforces the previous statement that I made that there is no light source that Eco Energy cannot replace and typically give a two to three year return on investment. One of the greatest opportunities that exist in all buildings for saving energy is to replace the existing light sources with the new LED ranges. LED lights now actually have moved on to a point that get over most people's misconception that LEDs not quite there yet or LEDs expensive. In the right applications with the right burn times, LED can repay for itself in a very, very quick period of time. Typically, the largest consumer of energy in an office box or a school, hospitals, is the traditional fluorescent tube light. This is Eco Energy's replacement for the uh, 32 watt tubular light. This is a 16 watt LED. Gives out equal light, lasts for 50,000 hours, and burns 16 watts of energy. That's a 50% energy reduction. LEDs don't emit any heat or very little heat. Typically, a fluorescent light will produce 90% heat, 10% light from the energy that it converts. These have the direct opposite. 90% of the power that's created is turned into light, 10% into heat. That results in a significant saving on the air conditioning systems. EcoEnergy have developed a range of LED lights whereby now we can replace any existing light source with a new LED light bulb. Some of the more familiar and common lights that can be found are things like the PAR30. This is a 13 watt PAR30 light, would replace a 65 watt incandescent or an 18 watt CFL. A screw in A19 replacement. This is a 10 watt LED light, which would replace a 60 watt incandescent bulb or an 18 watt compact fluorescent. On the table we have a few more examples of light bulbs that can be replaced. A very decorative candle bulb, consumes three watts of power, looks very nice, ornamental. Some of the more unusual bulbs out there that people don't realize can be replaced, a G9 bulb, typically replaces a 35 watt halogen bulb, down to 2.4 watts, significant energy savings. Again with a 50,000 hour life expectancy. The more common GU10 bulb, 35 to 50 watts found in most buildings. This one consumes 4 watts of power, replaces 35 watts of power again. Moving on to some of the larger applications for LED, this is where Eco Energy actually specialize. Lots of companies offer replacement bulbs, which we'd see more commonly see in households. Now we're getting into the more industrialized application. Energy saving opportunities with LED lighting are not restricted just to indoor lighting. We have the capability to retrofit light sources right the way through to a 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 watt metal halide light sources can now be replaced. This is an example of a 1,000 watt metal halide replacement. This unit actually consumes 372 watts. It can be as little as 272 watts, but in this configuration, we're burning 372 watts, and it would replace 1,500 watt metal halide. Eco Energy actually specialize in retrofitting light sources to existing fixtures. 
So parking lot lighting is an ideal target for saving energy. The fixtures can be retained, the light source is replaced by custom plates such as this that would replace a 400 watt metal halide bulb. All of the external lighting due to the nature and application of installation have a very long life expectancy. 100,000 hours is the L70 value associated with all of these light sources. This clearly demonstrates that the savings continue long after the repayment has been recaptured. Typically, uh, light sources of this nature can last upwardly of 22 years. Saving energy is not always as simple as selecting products from catalogues and hoping that the results achieve where you expect to be. Throughout our experience, we've identified the potential to save energy on air conditioning systems, but research being done, we've never actually been able to identify a product that um, achieves the savings that we'd like to get to. Uh, with that in mind, Brian Kalen, Vice President of Engineering at EcoEnergy, was charged with the challenge of looking at air conditioning systems, the way in which they operate, and capitalizing on the potential to save energy. Brian is now going to explain the latest product which EcoEnergy have developed, designed, and built in the United States, um, and with which Brian was the lead engineer. Brian? Thank you, Dave. The product that David's relating to is right behind us here. It's the Airco Sense. Basically, it's a device that can be added to most air conditioning systems out there, both residential and commercial systems. It takes advantage of the saturation temperature inherent in most air conditioning systems. That's to say the stored energy in the evaporator. The unit looks at two different parameters. It looks at the air temperature coming into the system as well as the air temperature going out. The built-in electronics then optimizes the cycling of the compressor based on those two parameters and never really compromising comfort inside the building. That's the key feature. By looking at that incoming air temperature, it ensures that the latent heat has been taken out of the building before it starts economizing. One of the other key features of the AircoSense in a residential use, it'll save between 20 30 percent of the energy required on the air conditioning system. But when the system is integrated into a commercial air conditioner, another nice feature is that it can also integrate with a variable frequency drive controlling the blower motor. By the board controlling the speed of the blower motor, it can further enhance energy savings up to 50 percent. <laughs> Once again, the potential to save energy lies within most energy consuming devices. Identifying these opportunities is the skill that EcoEnergy have adopted. Pool pumps, especially commercial pool pumps, run 24 hours a day, hidden away from the site. What can be done with pool pumps? Again, Brian Kalen, Vice President of Engineering, will explain how we've come up with a solution to save energy on commercial pool pumps. Brian? Most pool pump controls are pretty basic. They're on, they're off, they're controlled by a timer. In applications such as commercial pools, the motor is required to run 24 hours a day, just wide open. There's no speed control or intelligence. What we've done is we've added, a, again, an adjustable frequency drive to the pool pumps. Now we can actually accurately control that pump based on gallons per minute, flow control, that sort of thing. Before the motor was on, the motor was off. By introducing the variable frequency drive, we can also take advantage of what's called the affinity laws. By slowing a motor down even slightly, the energy savings are upwards of 40% in most applications. We can do three-phase motors, and we can also run a three-phase motor off the single-phase source, and that is one of the duties of integrating this motor with an adjustable frequency drive. <laughs>